Microsoft issued new pre-release builds of Windows 11 version 24H due to the DAV and beta channels of the Windows Insider program. The KB5058486 update advanced to Windows 11 build to 6120.4151 and introduces several new AI-powered features, interface enhancements, power optimizations, and system fixes aimed at refining the overall user experience. If you have enrolled your device for beta channel through the Windows Insider program, ensure turn on Get the Latest Updates as soon as they're available option before check for Updates button to test these features. One of the standout features introduced in this build is AI Actions in File Explorer. This enhancement allows you to perform intelligent tasks on files directly from the right-click context menu. When you right-click an image or a document, you'll see a new AI Actions option, enabling you to carry out actions like editing, removing backgrounds, summarizing documents, or even using Bing Visual Search, all without manually opening the file. For images, there are four AI-powered options are available. The Bing Visual Search lets you search the web using the selected image. It helps identify landmarks, plants, and objects, or shop for similar items. The Blur background opens the Photos app and automatically highlights your subject while blurring the background. You can fine-tune the blur intensity or manually adjust the selection. The Erase Objects allows you to remove unwanted items from photos using Generative Arrays in the Photos app. And finally, Remove Background uses Paint to automatically separate the subject from the background with one click. Well, currently, these image action support .jpg, .jpeg, and .png files only. Additionally, Microsoft plans to add other actions for Microsoft 365 files, like Summarize and Create an FAQ, in the coming weeks. Both of these require a Copilot subscription and for now, for the PC to be enrolled in the Microsoft 365 Insider program. The former for developers settings page has been reimagined as advanced settings under settings system advanced. This redesign makes advanced options more discoverable and includes new tools like enable long paths, which removes the traditional 260 character limit for file paths in Win32 applications. Virtual Workspaces, allowing you to manage virtualization environments such as Windows Sandbox and Hyper-V. File Explorer plus Virgin Control, which brings Git integration directly to File Explorer. You'll see Git information like the current branch, recent commits, and changes when you browse a repository folder. Search results via the taskbar now display a helpful message if indexing is incomplete guiding users to the indexing settings. There's also a new visual cue that shows whether a file is stored locally or is only available online, such as on OneDrive. Quick Settings now shows a grouped view for accessibility options with descriptive labels for tools like Narrator, Voice Access, and more. This helps users understand each assistive tool at a glance. Microsoft has temporarily disabled Chinese Simplified, support in voice access to fix critical issues. Support for this language is expected to return in an upcoming build. A redesigned widgets board is being tested, featuring a more personalized layout. A new Copilot curated feed includes summaries, videos, and articles from trusted Emerson sources to give users a richer content experience. If you prefer the classic layout, you can toggle off Copilot Discover Review under Personalize Emerson Settings. This build also includes a new feature called User Interaction OS CPU Power Management that automatically applies an efficient power management policy when the PC is unused for a period of time and then reverts to full performance when you return. In the Windows Share, when you share an image, there's a new quality drop down with high, medium, and low quality options below the file name in the share pane.
This simplifies the process of reducing image size before sharing. The snipping tool now includes a text extraction shortcut. Press Win plus Shift plus T to launch the text extractor and copy on-screen text instantly without taking a screenshot. Make sure you're using latest version of snipping tool. This build is also experimenting with different landing page layouts in the Windows Backup app to enhance the user experience. These changes may vary depending on the device or region. Fixed a bug where core Windows elements like File Explorer or Start wouldn't load in safe mode. Resolved an issue where clicking the New Tab button in a maximized File Explorer would unmaximize it. Addressed crashes in Settings and Quick Settings caused by Bluetooth issues. Fixed a bug that prevented switching from manual to automatic active hours in Windows Update Settings. Resolved crashes when navigating to Settings, Personalization, Lock Screen. Well, Windows Insider builds like this one are preview versions that may contain experimental features and bugs. It's highly recommended to test these builds on a secondary PC or a virtual machine rather than on your primary device. Thanks for watching.